I love dogs. Yeah. That's my weakness right there. Dogs. Uh, yeah, he uh, doesn't cry for anything, but if there's a dog involved. <laughs> yeah. Almost cried at Marley and me. Oh man, I'm really gullible, so you tell me something, I'll believe it. Mm, girl. That's bad, huh? Mm -hmm. Sand, sand exist. See, I already know the truth <laughs> to that one. Really? Are you sure? I'm gonna go. <laughs> no? No, 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 no. No, I can't even. No, no, no. Well, what are you about to do? I'm kind of scared here. Check it. Oh, yeah? Feel it? We got. What's going on here? Square up. So, you're all about energy. So, you brought your little. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, you want some box. It's, it's our little energy drink. Yeah, things. try it out. It's kind of. um. Lift off. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll put it right here. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's three and a half. <laughs> No, because we're just like, get it? Energy. This energy, energy. Yeah, ha, ha, Get lift you. off. No, it's actually good. It yeah, I, feel like I have a whiteboard here. Can I just like. Um, no. I'm gonna be holding it up. Yep, crack out. Not crack out, but it, gives you, it does give you energy, but it's more like a really focused energy. If that makes it's like sense. a lot of vitamins and stuff. Yeah, so it gives it's you really that cool. clear focus and working out. Because when I was prepping, I would do the bangs. Yeah. Zero yeah, yeah, macros, yeah, yeah. right? But I would get bloated before, like really. A lot like of burp. Kind of crack yeah. crash. Yeah, yeah. The crash, that's what I didn't like. I'd be like, Tsk. and then like midday after I took, because I would take it like what, like 7 a.m.? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, just fucking, oh, damn. All right, we're going to go live in five, four, three, two. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Energy Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Landeros. And before we get started, the purpose of this podcast is to deliver value, help and inspire and people to, you know, tap into their energy and really just, you know, get that mindset to achieve anything that they put their mind to. Uh, before we get started, I just want to introduce my guest, Yuslevi and Manny. What's, What's up? Guys? How's it going? Thank you for having us on. No, here. dude, thank you guys for coming by. Dude, I really appreciate that, dude. Yeah. It's been crazy. So excited. So before before we get started guys like really get into it like tell us a little bit about you guys you know tell us you know who you are what you do how you do and where you do you know all right go ahead oh yeah you first babe. all right um <laughs> well um we've been um doing health and fitness for about four or five years now mm. um we really started right after we got out of high school we really just wanted some new results um so actually the reason we started was because my mom actually lost 105 pounds uh, so it's been really crazy. She actually got us onto it. She started. Okay. She started out of our, our, our health journey. So it was really cool. Um, and then we got into it. We were just looking for some new results, and we we got like a like a bunch of different things that came yeah. along yeah. with it. So it was really cool. Um, and yeah, we love what we do. We just try to get the world healthier and happier, and that's our mission statement right there. So you know, yeah, I mean, um, same thing. Like we got into it first. I mean, for myself, I wanted to get results, you know. Right. I wanted to feel confident and, like, whatnot. I was looking to be skinny. We mm -hmm. went into this together and getting results together. We, well, I found that and I wasn't really looking to get skinny. I was looking to find confidence and self-love. Yeah. And, you know, I gained all that through health and fitness. So, I mean, we feel amazing. That's what we want to do for other people. Right. We just want them to feel how we're feeling. Yeah, that's our mission. No, yeah, that, that, that's awesome. You know, pushing the fitness lifestyle, like, especially if you're right now, it's kind of very popping. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are jumping on, like, you know, trying to get better, trying yeah. to pursue, and especially just because I feel like mental health in general has been becoming a big boom. A lot of people are, you know, yeah. starting to look into, like, okay, like, let me dissect myself. Let me see what, you know, what's really going on in here. And at the end of the day, I mean, that's what we all should strive for, like, getting better, become the better version of yourself. And yeah, exactly. that's, you know, really awesome because I know you guys definitely change people's lives, yeah. you know, and then pushing past the barriers of them thinking that they can't accomplish certain tasks certain goals and then when they have people like you guys there to push them you know give them that you know motivation that confidence that's like by far like mm -hmm. the biggest you know gratitude you can get yeah. from anything like that so big props to you definitely guys. super rewarding job we love it yeah. like we honestly um they come to us like super broken and like yeah. just lacking confidence lacking like self-worth really and we'd have to like nail it in them every single day like they're like oh i can't do it i can't do it and we're just like there to like keep motivating keep motivating and of course they like start like getting results they start feeling themselves a little bit so yeah. they start posting new pictures and all that good stuff so it's really cool to see like our people's growth and yeah. no yeah definitely because i mean honestly like not gonna lie it took me about a year to get back in the gym um you know i was on and off i was on and off and then for the longest time i wasn't going to gym i probably took like a three-year break 
And just this year, I started up again, and I was just like, okay, like, I got to get this back going, you know? And then once you start going, I kid you not, it's like a drug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it really is. Like, you just get addicted to it. And I'm like, now nah, every day I have to go, because if not, then I'm just like, oh, shit. Like, if I don't have that sore feeling, right. I'm like, ah, like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So before, uh, I mean, before you guys got into the herbal life and the fitness coach mm -hmm. lifestyle, like, what were you guys doing, you know? What was you guys' life like? Um, <laughs> like... I mean, we kind of started in high school. We were yeah. like kind of messing around, going in and out of, like, the whole health and fitness and taking it really serious. You know, to be honest, before, we would party a lot, go out oh, drinking, yeah, yeah. and, like, man, it was just, that's, that, that was our day. We'd go work, school, and just go out partying and drinking with friends. Yeah. We didn't have much that we were doing. It was just, like, the same thing every single weekend. And then you get over the feeling of, like, getting hungover every day and just, like, being, like, yeah. you know, feeling like, shit, yeah, that's the worst. Exactly. Yeah, we were just, like, really partying, like, every single weekend, like, not living for a purpose, really. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and we are just, like, living for the weekends and just, like, what what party are we going to go to? Like, I had my yeah. friends hit me up, like, oh, we're going to go to this party. So I was like, all right, let's go. Yeah. And, like, we would just be depressed when it comes Monday and then Friday you're happy again. And then Monday, right, it's depressed. like that emotional roller coaster <laughs> so, throughout yeah. the week. Um, what would you guys say was that, like, that turning point where you guys just said, like, okay, you know what? I, I need to go out and do something more. Like you said, purposeful, you know, you found your purpose. Like, what was that, like? What took it to that point where it was like, all right, no, time to switch it up? I mm. mean, for me, it was just um, like going, coming out of high school, I didn't really know what I wanted in life. Mm. I, I knew I loved working out. I knew that. I knew I loved helping people like feel amazing, feel good about themselves. Yeah, I wasn't feeling good about myself. Right. Um, so I think that was, I, I really reached a low mm -hmm. within myself. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a... It was, I was like, that's it. I was like, babe, like, I need to do something. I need to yeah. feel good. Like, I need to find confidence. Mm -hmm. And I think that's when, you know, we turned into health and fitness. And there we are today. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it was a little different. I knew what I wanted to do out of high school. Right. Um, I went to, right after high school, I went straight to uh, EMT school uh, to be an EMT. Yeah. Because um, I wanted to be a firefighter. Um, so I was, I went to EMTs right out of high school. Right after that, I got a job as an EMT and I was mm -hmm. working that for two years. Um, and then it came time to go to paramedic school and I yeah. was like scared out of my mind because it was like a whole year of just like straight paramedic school, yeah. which is really tough. It's like devoting your life to that. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, of course. And I, at the same time, I was still going to school for firefighting and mm -hmm. like fire science and all that stuff. And, um, I really had to, um, decide like what I wanted at that point because I got introduced to the business aspect of Herbalife yeah. and um, I was like I, I want to be a firefighter but I'm like just scared out of my mind like it's giving me anxiety just thinking about going to school about having people's lives in my hand it was really giving yeah. me anxiety like when I was EMT I actually had somebody um, uh, code on me which was really really scary it was a scary experience well, what does that mean for uh, that CPR, CPR. Oh, okay cool yeah hey sorry I don't have that you know <laughs> yeah. EMT terminology so <laughs> what is that? code yeah so, I know I knew what that was it's just for the people listening <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. yeah it was it was a really scary experience like I was scared out of mind like I was like I don't know if I could handle this anymore like yeah I, I was looking for a way out of it but I already told my parents and like I told my whole family I was gonna be a firefighter and like they're like super happy for me so I didn't want to let anybody down and then um, I got introduced to this, so I was really like, should I take this risk and, like, just go full out on this? So I really didn't know what to do, but sometimes in life, we just got to, like, take those risks, and I, I just went for it, and I, I there's no looking back since no, then. Yeah, like, I, I love what I'm doing right now. How like, many, I couldn't be happier. How many 5150s did you do? 5150s? Yeah. Ah, probably, like, too many to count. two, <laughs> maybe three. Uh, crazy people. Crazy oh, yeah, yeah, 5150s. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. I hate those. <laughs> 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 yeah, hate those all the time. I hate those all the time. Yeah, I had a few <laughs> in my days, but God, glad we're over those. No, but it's funny because you said something like you didn't want to have people's lives in your hands, mm -hmm. yet now you are, you know, having people's lives exactly. in your hand, but I guess in a different, like, form, which yeah. is in a way where you're able to, I guess, how do I say this, have more control and, like, you're actually more confident yeah. into, like, what you're doing and mm -hmm. how, what you're able to deliver to your people. I think that's, you know, amazing that the fact that, you know, you still in a way was able to find that uh, that meeting point and bridge yeah. that together. Yeah, I always knew I wanted to help people. Yeah. Um, I thought that was going to be through firefighting, but I guess it was through health and fitness. Yeah, no, which, definitely. Which is, is a lot more rewarding because you actually get to help them, like, their whole life, not just in yeah. that moment. And then, like, you know, like, the, the crazy thing is that, like, I admire the fact that, like, you know, they come into you, like you said, feeling like nothing, you know, feeling like they have no confidence. And then just you guys giving them that energy, like, yeah, <laughs> like, like that. yeah. you know, it, 
they build up that confidence and they're for all, forever going to be, you know, grateful for you guys, you know, the way that you change their life. And that just, you know, creates a snowball effect, you know, for people just yeah. wanting to gather and, you know, bring more people because you guys create that environment for them. You know, mm -hmm. it's, that's amazing. Yeah. Like even if they don't stay with us, like after a few months, they get results and they like yeah. venture off. That's still cool. Like we still were able to change their life yeah, and no, like impact them in a healthy yeah, way. And like they start going to the gym constantly. They start eating better just because we were able to coach them through those few months and they started learning a little yeah, bit. No, so that's st still like we still love that yeah no of course because you were you're like the first sign of defense when you gave them that uh, that foundation and from there on i mean th they know what they need to do if they want to mm -hmm. keep staying healthy right yeah, yeah. Exactly. so tell me a little bit more about you know the workouts that you guys have the uh, you know oh, man. the uh, what is it the booty uh <laughs> booty night, yeah. booty booty night, night yeah. dude, I, i'm amazed because i see there's a lot of people that go yeah. out i'm gonna have to come out one of these days <laughs> yeah, like, um so tuesday nights we have booty night work with my booty girls. <laughs> all girls all girls uh, we have over like what sixty girls over that come 60 out. Girls That's awesome. Crazy. Yeah, it it's amazing because we offer so much more. You yeah, know? like um, we love bringing people to the trainings and the workouts because it's a community. You get yeah, to definitely, meet definitely on the same journey as you. So some people are kind of scared and intimate, intimated to go yeah. to the gym, but once you're somewhere where there's a whole bunch of people mm. working out, have similar goals yeah that's where people get more confident yeah more of course like, okay i got this learn how to work out a little bit then venture off to the gym do their own thing yeah and yeah because you guys give them that confidence like you know yeah. sometimes like even when i was like ready to get into working out i was like you know what like i don't know if i want to go to the gym alone like if i go alone mm -hmm. like you know what am i even gonna work out do i even know yeah. how to work out and um, you start doing the same old workouts and you're like well what, what the hell this isn't giving you results <laughs> all of a sudden like you get like you know not even sore anymore and you're just like eh, well i guess this isn't for me i'm gonna go do something else yeah we, we um we have a lot of like well a lot of girls that come to us they're like we hate going to them because we feel, we feel like guys always just stare at us and stuff oh, like yeah. that so like they love coming to ours because they just get to like be themselves yeah like, they don't have to worry about what they look like no makeup no nothing they just come and get a good workout in and then yeah. get their post recovery shakes and then go home and like enjoy the day yeah so um but yeah so we have them uh, monday through friday or monday through thursday and also saturday mornings yeah uh, but they're free for all of our clients right so that's yeah. that's we give them a little something for free we're yeah, always trying no, to definitely. give people something for free um and uh it's a really good workout we see people from like we, we it's uh, a lap yeah and some people can't even finish the lap it's a quarter mile right and the first day they can't even finish the lap and then as a second like those couple weeks pass and they're like running like sprinting it progress, so it's like crazy baby. to see their progress yeah, yeah that's, that's really awesome cool. so where, where are you guys located at um, I, I've been wondering because uh, I always see I'm like oh, I wonder what's around like where are they? <laughs> <laughs> it's off uh, Main, Main Street, Street. And oh, okay cool cool cool, yeah. cool 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 nice really cool. so how'd you guys get into that establishment like what do you guys you know is it you guys is it a team behind you guys like how does that work out um, it's a family thing you know oh okay it's a dope. family and a team thing because we're nice. we have about uh, 15 20 coaches <laughs> that do exactly oh, okay, what we're okay, doing okay and um, a lot of well my brother and his wife and right. my mom they all do it and my dad so oh, it's really cool. It God. is a family thing. Also, that's amazing. That's yeah. awesome. Cool. That's really cool. It's really fun. Um, so I'm I'm surrounded by my family all day, and then like the people that come in turn into my family because we yeah. love them. Yeah, yeah. And then um, but yeah, it's about 15 of us. We all bring in our clients for free. It's really cool. Um, yeah. So how would you? How important would you say is like having a team behind you? You know, being able to you know uh, have them motivate you, and everybody has the same goal. You know, to get better. You know, become the best version of yourself. What would you guys say is the most important part of having a team? Man, a team it does so much more because, you know, as being coaches ourselves, sometimes we have our bad days, too. Yeah. And to have a team, of course. it's what keeps, well, at least for myself, it keeps me accountable to yeah. keep going, keep doing what I'm doing. And even if I have those days where I'm struggling, it's like looking down at our team, like, no, like, I can't let these days, like, affect me like this. I have a team. They just inspire and motivate yeah. us every single day. Yeah, so I, I grew up as an athlete. Yeah. I played baseball and football. yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> so after high school, I was actually looking for that like team thing. Like, uh, yeah, I, that I, I wanted to, yeah. yeah, I wanted to get back into sports at Southwestern, and I was like, oh man, like it's a lot of dedication in college yeah, sports. It really is. Um, and then I found Herb Life, and I found like it's a team. You get to build your own team, and I was like, what? That's dope. Like, uh, I really like the team aspect of things. So it, yeah. it really fires me up, and like you get to compete with your own team. Like I love competing. Yeah, so, like you get to yeah, like, like friendly, like friendly, yeah, competition. It's friendly competition. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, you're making yourself better. Yeah, so exactly. it's like it's all worth so, it. Yeah, I love I love the team aspect is really cool so it's, it's actually mental uh, health awareness month uh may um how important is mental health for you guys and like how is your mental health huge it's yeah huge. Uh, i think it's number one priority you yeah know? um a lot of people when they come to us they think that they're gonna get results which they do yeah but our main like goal is to help them grow mentally because mm. that's key to everything yeah. like once you get everything in your mind 
like right, everything else just comes together. That's like Kudos, key. That, to that's it. true. It's not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. Mine says, man. It's everything. Yeah, uh, so yeah. our philosophy is 20% nutrition, 80% fitness, and 100%, 100% mindset. Mm. So mindset is everything to us. Yeah, like, no, definitely. We, yeah. yeah, it's huge. Like, for me, I'm not going to lie, like, uh, it might sound silly to some people, but I meditate every day. You know, like, I literally crisscross, applesauce, you know, put my hands up. <laughs> I try to get just, into Just because it. it works for me, you know, and, like, um, I... I Sometimes I don't want to do it, but I'm like, no, no, no. You got to take the time. Take my deep breaths. And I do it like, you know, funny in the shower where I'm like, you know, most relaxed. <laughs> Nobody can see me. <laughs> it's my ritual. I right? don't hate. <laughs> but uh, no, I really just more than anything, take my deep breaths, you know, get my mind ready for the day. And I do this on the day that, you know, like put myself, put, go through my affirmations. And, you know, there's nothing crazy. It's just within myself, you know, little, yeah. mm-hmm. little stuff that I tell myself, you know, just prep myself, basically just get myself pumped up. Yeah. And that's taking a lot of momentum uh, because it just pushes me throughout the day. You know, I know what I want and I see what I want and exactly. having like starting the day with that mentality is just like, boom, let's yeah, go, let's go definitely. get out after it. I get in the office and I'm like, all right, let's crunch out what we got to do. Let's do these files, let's call these people. And then when it comes down to jumping the podcast, I'm like, all right, I'm going to be the man. I'm going to crush this. Like, you yeah. know, cause not gonna lie, I wasn't always as like, you know, like, let me just go out there and like scream and like on my yes. phone and start doing that. <laughs> but uh, it really just came down to, like you said, aligning your mindset with your morals, your beliefs, and what oh, you yeah. want. And once you're able to bridge all that together, it's crazy the stuff you start attracting and like mm-hmm. the people that start coming into your life. And you start noticing so much different things where you're like, oh man, I thought that person was my, you know, friend, <laughs> but all of a sudden it's like, yeah, 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 I don't know. You're kind of negative. <laughs> I don't want no bad vibes. <laughs> yeah, so uh, back, actually back to the morning thing. Yeah. Um, what I like to do is every morning I wake up, first thing I do is turn on a podcast. Ooh. Um, I love like just starting my day off with just like some positive vibes. Yeah, because, definitely. Like, I, like sometimes like I don't want to wake up and I'm just like, damn, like, can I call out of work? Like, <laughs> like I'll, I just want, really want to call off. Yeah. So I just throw on a podcast. Uh, usually Ed Milet comes out with one like every Monday morning. So yeah. I, I yeah, love yeah. his. Uh, but I just turn it on and it, get, it just gets me pumped for the day. Like I'm yeah. ready to go. So like I definitely would recommend everybody to start their day off with just some positive vibes. Yeah, no, sure. definitely. And it was funny because before, like, I kid you not, positivity, like, you know, all this inspirational stuff, I'd be like, who the fuck needs that? Like, you exactly. know, who, what, what? And then now, like, I listen to something and I'm just like, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotta write that one down. Yeah. That, that one hit. I was like, shit. We call, we call those nuggets. 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 Yeah. Hey, there you go. I like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so as far as like, you know, social media is going everywhere now. And it's crazy how, like, you know, you can literally have a business through uh, social media, mm-hmm. you know, attract people, meet different people, and be connected with people all over the world. How has that helped you guys? Or how do you guys utilize that for, you know, your business and the message that you guys are trying to, you know, spread? That's um that's really our business. We do that yeah. a lot through social oh, media. Oh, dope. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's like the the best and the easiest way to like reach out to people. Yeah, definitely. The circle, for sure. And um I don't know. I guess what I love about social media is just showing what's possible. I like we we love posting like our journey that way people know that yeah. it's real, you know, like what mm. we're doing. They see us the before is the after. Yeah. We like it, we like keeping it real with everyone and they get to see that and follow us with our journey yep so that's really our thing with social media just showing what's possible yeah, yeah. and a lot of people have been so, saying social media is like uh like bad and like it just a big yeah. distraction but it, like it honestly how you utilize it exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. like um a lot of people are getting rich off of it which yeah. is crazy like yeah no, like a lot of ridiculous. young people so like if you use it right it could be a huge tool in like whatever by business far. you're doing no yeah. by so, far yeah we're just using it for like just being like documenting our lives right. and showing what we do on a regular which is mostly workout like we were gonna yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i couldn't tell <laughs> <laughs> no but funny that you said documenting uh you know my biggest thing is not cr- sometimes yeah you want to create content but other times it's just about documenting mm-hmm. because documenting is that raw like real like you know story what you're doing you're, you're showing them really like the nitty gritty of what you're doing yeah. Yeah. and that's why I like to utilize the stories a lot because those are the ones that are 15 seconds people can see it. it's easy to oh, digest yeah. and yeah. people are going to be like you know okay cool I know what you're saying I know mm-hmm. what you're doing and the crazy thing is that people smell bullshit right off the bat you yeah. know like people mm-hmm. smell bullshit from miles away so it's like if you're doing something that you know isn't up to what you want to do and then people are gonna be like yeah this guy's just all bullshit but on that note yo everybody that's on live we're gonna go ahead and shut out you guys know where to reach us for the energy podcast say hi to marcos uh yeah we'll be out soon thank you guys <laughs> no but yeah going back to that uh 
Um, for me, uh, when I started uh, getting into this uh, industry, the real estate industry, um, I, the first thing I did was, you know, just get on the videos, you know, because that's what I was like. I started doing videos and started saying positive messages because I wanted to inf- uh inspire and motivate myself right mm-hmm. yeah. after a while i just kept doing it kept doing it and kind of carried on and got momentum and people were like hey dude I, I, can you keep doing that like kind of helps me out i'm like uh, oh shit like, <laughs> like i guess i'm doing this for other people like yeah. you know like not just myself and that's when it clicked that i'm like yo like i actually have a different purpose now you know like i that's when i set out to be like yo okay i'm gonna actually take this on serious and really 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 dig into myself to be able to provide people you know that inspiration and that motivation that they don't have themselves because mm-hmm. A lot of people don't have that and they feel like they're alone and that's when all the problems start coming in and you know, you just it's horrible, bro. Yeah. You know, and sometimes people just they're looking for something or yeah. they just need to hear something. Yeah. And you know, at times like we'll post a little affirmations or like mm-hmm, quote mm-hmm. something we hear and I get these messages all the time, like, Oh my god, you have no idea how much I need to hear that and this yeah. and that and getting that, like, man, that straight to my heart. That makes me so happy to know. Because I know so I need rewarding. to hear that, I put that and someone else needed to hear that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and um, also we just try to keep it strictly positive because yeah. that's who we are. Like we don't post any negativity because people get that on the daily. Like they they hear negative all the time at work, yeah, at the house, yeah. everywhere. So we just try to post like positive stuff just to like just to give them something to like be happy. You know, just think yeah. about because like yeah, like you said, some people and it's funny because the people that reach out to me are the people that I least expect. Exactly, and, and, it, and it trips yeah. me out. I'm like. Oh shit! I didn't know you like you were like following me right. like that, and it's just like it's really cool to to know that you know people are listening. You know yeah. whether they they like what you're saying, whether they don't fuck with you or they do fuck with you. Like people are watching and they're they're, mm-hmm. they're listening. You're definitely making a noise. You know, so once you just I, I found that once I just stayed consistent in what I was doing and not give a fuck about what anybody yeah. thought. That's when I'm just like full force. I don't care whoever's gonna ride with me is gonna ride with me, and if not, well then shit, do whatever you gotta do. Yeah. Like I'm just gonna do me. And then some people, <laughs> yeah. some people think like you have to be perfect on social you media when you, you first don't. start. Like just be you. Like we, yeah. our, our I mean, first, look at me. our not first, look at me. I'm not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> our first years like on social media, we were like terrible. We didn't know. know how to post nothing. Like we're getting better as it goes, yeah, yeah, but like yeah. it's all just trial and error. Like we're just, that's all it is. Like, progress. Just, just post who you really are. Like, yeah, that's, and that's that's the biggest thing that people like try to put out an image of who they. want want people to think that mm-hmm. they are yeah. and they start losing track of who they really are because they're so caught up in like yo i gotta make sure i look like this i gotta make sure i'm this person because i gotta hold this reputation and do this but i'm like dude like once people actually really meet you in life like you're not gonna be that person and you're gonna be you and right off the bat they're gonna be like whoa whoa whoa, 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 whoa. i just got <laughs> catfished here <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, so, you know, growing up, obviously we all go through lessons. We all go through struggles. We all go through, you know, adversities. What would you guys say were some of the adversities and lessons that you guys learned early on in life? I mean, you know, that shaped up, you know, the character you guys have now. Mm, for me, it was uh, definitely in sports. Uh, my, my confidence was a roller coaster. Yeah. Like, um, sometimes my confidence will be really high. Like, I'll make a good play. I'll get, like, an interception or something. Yeah. And then I'll make a bad play. Coaches were yelling at me, and my confidence would just shoot. Like, it would just shoot down. And, yeah. Um, I really struggled with confidence, like, my whole life. Like, that was my huge thing with everything. When I had confidence, I was, like, on oh, up. Man. Yeah. Man. And when I didn't have confidence, I was, like, down. Like, I didn't believe in myself, mm. nothing. So um, what really just, like, helped me get out of that funk was just listening to personal development. Mm. Uh, did you call it that, too, right? Yeah, personal yeah. development. Personal yeah, development. yeah, of course. Uh, just listening to that, reading books. We started reading books. We started really digging into who we are and why we're like that. <sighs> I say that all the time. Yeah, bro. <laughs> so we really yeah, had to yeah, figure no, out no, why why we lack confidence. Yeah. And yeah, like I found out like why I was lacking confidence and like I really just try to focus in on that and just like be who I'm destined to be. So yeah. like that's that's for me it was like sports. I had to realize that like that in sports, like my confidence just go up, down, up, down, and up, down. You come to realize that the confidence doesn't come from what you do, but rather what you tell yourself and you know how yeah. you execute certain things. Because mm-hmm. honestly, the confidence comes from you, yeah. not from what you're doing. Exactly, like, you're the one that builds the confidence. Like you can't be doing shit, you can still be the confidence, most confident person. You mm-hmm. know, you know what I mean? Yeah. And for you, I mean, for me, um, I was always trying to find myself, and mm-hmm. I really knew how I was in high school. Yeah, like I did, but I didn't. Um, Like, I was, uh, I don't know. It was just hard for me to, like, know what I wanted. Mm -hmm. I was always pressured. My family, you know, they didn't go to high school. They, Uh, they like, they barely made it through um, um, elementary school. And then they came back here because they they were raised in Mexico. You know, we're first generation. My family here Mm -hmm. um, having that pressure on school and, like, um, trying to be perfect but not knowing what I wanted to do, you know. And I don't know. I was just, like, really lost. And just getting into this, like, really 
helped me find who I was and what I wanted to do, what I wanted to do and like find purpose. Yeah, no, you know? definitely. Because I felt like I didn't have purpose. So that's where I, I didn't know what I wanted in life. And that's what a lot of people lack with, you know, nowadays that they don't have that purpose and they're like, yo, like, what should I be doing? You know, and like yeah. they look at other people and like they're doing something very fun and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it just changes their perspective because they're like, well, why can't I be doing something, you know? And yeah, I feel like everybody wants to be a part of something. And the yeah. fact that, like, you know, you guys create your Herbalife team, you guys got your lifestyle. Like, people attra are attracted to that because they want to be, you, they want to feel part. Yeah. You know? I, man, I struggled with that so much, finding um, what I wanted to do and yeah. constantly comparing myself to everyone. Oh, uh, you can't do that. that. I struggled with that a lot. Like, comparing myself, like, man, they're doing this, and I would change my major i changed change yeah. what i was doing what i wanted to do like all the time i tell him like i want to do this never mind like i want to do that i'm not good enough for that like constantly saying like she's doing this she's doing that and i just once i stopped that i said like i am who i am this is what i want this is what i want to do like this is it mm -hmm. stop looking at other people i even had to follow certain pages because yeah. i was constantly comparing myself to certain things and like you were saying earlier like a lot of things on social media aren't real to yeah be honest. No, so you're comparing is. yourself to a whole lot you know so um yeah, stop that, found my purpose, like just head down straight, like what I want to do and that's it. And I feel like sometimes in life you really got to just trial and error. Like, you oh, know, yeah. it's really trial and error. Like you have to really try shit that you don't like to yeah. figure out that like, okay, I don't want to do that. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. done doing that. Like I did concrete, like, uh, uh, yeah, I did concrete for about like a mm. year and it was the worst ever. Like, you know, I had to wake up 5 a.m. in the morning, be there all day, yeah. like, and I'd come home tired. I want to do shit. All I did was pass out, wake up, do it again. And that like gave me the thought, like I never want to do any of that yeah. ever again. Keep in mind, I don't talk shit on anybody that does it because now I know how hard it is. Yeah, so I'm more exactly. than anything like, yo, yeah. props that you're able to do that because I couldn't and I didn't yeah. want to. But then again, like I just didn't see myself doing that. And for me, like I left, I left, you know, out of high school, I went to college and it didn't work out for me, you me know, too. so it was like, I was like, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. Same here. And, you know, like, <laughs> and, and it came down to it because I went to three different colleges. I failed out of all three of them. And I was just like, oh, damn, like, fuck, like, I guess I'm a failure now, you know, but like, you know, you start eating yourself up alive. Mm -hmm. I went through that, like, I don't know what I want to do with my life. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Like, but like you said, I always, always, since I was a kid, I remember growing up telling my mom, like, yo, mom, like, I want to help people. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what I want to do. How? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew that I wanted to help people because I was always, you know, good at connecting with different people, good at, you know, uh, interacting with different people. And that's something that, like, you know, it was always my skill. So I knew that I wanted to utilize that to, you know, help people and expand on that. Um, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so it was just, like, you know, it was, like, trial and error, and, like, you know, I really went through a lot of stuff, you know, like, going out, you know, like, same thing, you know, falling into dark spots in my life, you yeah. know, but all that, I would never change it, because going through all those experiences is what shaped up to yeah. be who I am exactly. now. You gotta grow through it. Exactly. Ooh. You gotta go through shit, to, if not, like, that's why I honestly think that sometimes you gotta go through shit, like, no, you, you, really, gotta, you really gotta hit rock bottom yeah. in order to know, okay, I just hit the lowest of the lowest, no, it's up from here. <laughs> There's no way you can go even lower than that. No, no, no. Yeah. And if you do that. Well, <laughs> so where would you guys say you see yourself like in the next, you know, five to ten years? You know, Ooh, we got some Ooh. big goals. Yeah. No, yeah, but that's good. Goals. Like you yeah. have to. You mm -hmm. have to. Yeah, we, we definitely have some big goals. Uh uh, there's there's different levels in in herb life uh, yeah. that that we want to achieve. Um <clears throat> one of them is uh it's called President's Team. I don't know. If, like you probably don't know anything about that no but, but tell us please <laughs> yes so it, it's pretty much you have a it, it, herb life is a multi-level marketing company yeah yeah um <clears throat> it's all about getting clients um getting them results and then uh the clients love the results people are asking them what they're doing and then they they start being coaches as yeah. well yeah so that's all it is really and like you don't get paid off just signing them up like it's not a pyramid scheme or anything so you don't get paid off that uh, you get paid from like when when people actually get people healthy, right? So that's where it is. Um, and for us to be at the level we want, we gotta have about a hundred people on our team. I'd okay, say. yeah. So that's that's definitely our goal for the in in five years. Uh, we also want to open up our own nutrition and fitness center as well. Nice. Yeah. Um, nice. We have one together, but we want to open a huge one, mm -hmm. um, a little closer to the freeway. I would say like right around Brandywine area. That would okay, be, that would be perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A huge warehouse with yeah, yeah, yeah. nutrition right there. Now that I know where it's at, I'm like, okay, that all makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that that's definitely one of our goals. Uh, we want to own our own house for sure. Yeah. Um, so I can help hook, you guys out with that go. whenever you guys are ready. <laughs> yeah. You know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what other goals do you got? Uh, you know, one that we talk a lot on is time freedom. That's really Dude, good. Yes, like, like 
waking up to this man every morning, like, that's all I want, you know? Yeah. And, like, knowing that we're impacting and helping so many other people, having our own business. Like, mm-hmm. That's the main goal is time freedom because there's so much you can do once you have that time freedom. Yeah. I want no bosses. I don't want anyone telling me what's going No, to like, up. that, hell no. Yeah. I never, that, that never worked out for me because I was just like, what <laughs> the fuck is this telling me? And I'd be like, all right, fuck it. But then that's what made me think, like, all right, I never want to have anybody tell me yeah. what to do. Mm-hmm. I want to be a leader. I want to, like, yeah. not tell people what to do, but I want to lead them so that mm-hmm. we can all do it together. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a different aspect from being a manager, being a boss. Boss, you got to do that, right. do that. And leaders yeah. like, okay, we're all going to do this collectively mm-hmm. because my biggest thing is, like, I'm never going to go tell someone to do something if I'm not willing to do it myself. So right. if it means, like, I mean, I'm going to get down in the dirt and get dirty, fuck it, let's all do it together, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's how it is. That's part of being a team leader, yeah. and that's what you got to do. Sometimes you got to yeah. eat those L's and shit, fuck it. You learn from <laughs> yeah. yeah, right now, um, we're really just grinding right now. We're trying to get that time freedom so bad because yeah. right now we have no time freedom. Like, yeah. we're so busy. Like, yeah, we both busy. work full-time jobs. Uh, we both, um, at night, we Where do you guys work at? Um, I work at Nine Round. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's yeah, a little kickboxing. Yeah, 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 I've heard that. It's really cool. I, I work Monday through Friday every single morning. Cool. Um, and then after that, we get a little, little two two hour break and we get to work out ourselves and nice. do Good what we want to do. And then we get you work to, there too. No, I actually work at the Southwestern College gym. Oh, cool, yeah, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, so she works mornings as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, and then um, we go to we go to our spot. It's called the Shake House. Yeah. Uh, we go to that from like five thirty to like nine thirty ish, five to like nine thirty ish. And then after that, sometimes I have to do lift. Uh, uh, so okay. like pretty much I'm like working all day and like I just want time freedom so bad so I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get that time <laughs> but freedom. like right now you, you know it's still sacrifices that you're taking on right now and it's mm-hmm. it's crazy because I mean I'm surrounded by older people everybody here in this office is you know way older than me and I'm yeah. like you know so it's like I'm the youngest guy here but uh, it's crazy because like they always tell me like dude you're so lucky that you're learning this at a young age that you're yeah. having this mindset at a young mm. age and I'm like well I feel like I'm like I'm 24 and I feel like I'm like like you know uh, I feel like I should always be doing more like you yeah. know you you start telling yourself like no i could be doing more i could and you know like what else do i need to do but then you gotta like i take a little time and realize like yo 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 like okay you are doing something you know you yeah, you dude. definitely are like you know so but then again like i push myself so much sometimes that i'm like okay brian like tampoco no <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no it's just like going back and like you know that time freedom is like i'm willing to put in that time right now that i have it yeah. rather yeah. than try to put it later on when i have a family when i you know i'm old i don't have that same energy you know yeah, exactly. and then trying to give my time up then is going to be miserable like i'd rather just give it up right now you know hustle my ass off and then be free yeah, yeah. <laughs> like gary v always says like work work your 20s and then enjoy your 30s yeah. And like that's what we're, we're really trying to do. That maybe not as like crazy as he does. Yeah, like, no, he he's, really, he, but the, he's, he's like a little extreme, super extreme. But yeah. for some people it works. Like mm-hmm. some people need that like tough motivation yeah. because you know people like we're we're, we're inclined to want to go to be comfortable you know yeah. we're inclined oh, to be man. like ah it's okay like ah, i don't need to do that but i I'm, I'm a firm believer that your effort has to be at times even more than your energy meaning that even if you don't you know you're tired even if you're not feeling it even if yeah. you know you're not in the yeah. best state of mind you still got to show up it, life's like a movie you got to show up play your role mm-hmm. and adjust to the you know the the, uh, yeah. the punches that life throws at you amen to that <laughs> <laughs> so what would you guys say like differentiates your guys itself from uh you know other coaches and other people that are you know out here doing the same thing um you know a lot we offer a lot like not only do you get one coach you get yeah. both of us so of course you know, team it, couple. Yeah. and so it's cool because we get all types of clients you know sometimes we get females males yeah. the females come like they feel a little bit safer to say a few things to me and then yeah when they need definitely. like that you know like, like this this like and that tough. that's manny because i'm more like oh my god no don't worry like, you know <laughs> i don't have a soft heart but um we offer our coaching. We offer meal guides, workout guides. We provide the workouts for free. Mm-hmm. We really try to work with them at a personal level yeah. and create relationships. Like Ooh. that's our main thing is connecting and have like an actual relationship. Like I'm not just your coach. Like I'm your friend. Yeah, like, definitely. Like it goes beyond yeah, just me like, telling you what to do. Exactly. Like, like you said, you build a relationship. You're not just your. I'm your coach. You listen to me. No, no, no. Yeah. Nah, and we're like we're huge on building relationships. Like we want that one on one. We like to do text messaging and group messaging yeah. with our clients. You know, constantly motivating, motivating them, like being with them. Yeah, I would say all of our yeah. clients are like super good friends. Like now, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, now you build that yeah. bond. 
Like yeah, within like, a, like weeks, huh? Yeah, we like try to build that. Yeah. But that's good because you know some people like you know it's a skill. I always say it's a skill to be able to connect with people and be able to like, you know bring them in and be close mm-hmm. with them even in a short period of time. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's like you know what like you you come to realize that your experiences are the same. You guys come from certain like backgrounds that are the same, and then all of a sudden you're like, yo, like I just feel like I've known you my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's it. every single time, and we'll have a client. He's just like, oh my gosh, she's only been, in us, been with us for two months. I'm like, yeah, we forget. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the heck? I, I thought like, I'd known you my heart. Weren't you yeah. on my birthday two years ago? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Yeah, all right, cool. Um, so w- what type of workouts do you guys get into? Like, you know, what what are the some other routines you guys do? Like, what what's, you know, what's going um, down with honestly, that? We do everything. We, we, we just love working out. Yeah. Honestly, we'll do any type of workout. Like, I just got into uh, boxing recently. Oh, dope. Like, I, I love, like, just hitting a bag. It feels so good. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of pad work, too. Um but uh we do that um i tried crossfit um i I kept getting hurt so i was like i gotta chill with that a little Mm, bit that's Um, pretty extreme yeah Yeah, yeah, it definitely is so now we just we kind of stick to like uh uh, weightlifting just at the gym at our spot we we focus on high intensity trying okay that's really good yeah yeah trying to focus on uh, the body fat loss um we we just love working out honestly like we we love every aspect of it i feel like our workouts um have all types of workouts like we do mm-hmm. the high intensity we do a few crossfit moves we do yeah. a lot of olympic lifting and then okay. bodybuilding like we incorporate a lot you'd be surprised the people you see and how strong they are yeah. like okay. sometimes i see some because we have all ages yeah. all types of people at our workouts. All flavors and colors yeah everything <laughs> you'll see like um, a mom of three you know like i don't know like 45 and she's like lifting like high 50 snatching them i'm like dang what girl the heck? You, yeah you go fit mom it's crazy, <laughs> yeah so, well, what are you, some of your types of uh, hobbies besides the working out? Like, I know you guys, that's life, um, yeah. that's religion. But what are you guys' hobbies? Like, if you guys aren't working out, like, what are you guys doing? Traveling. I, oh, yeah. What were you going to say? I was going to say, okay, so, <laughs> I've only baked once in my life, but I <laughs> but swear, I, love I swear, it. <laughs> she in loves my past it. lifetime, I was the baker. Betty Crocker. <laughs> I don't know, I... That's a hobby of mine. I love watching baking yeah, shows. Yeah, we tried to bake one time and it, was <laughs> it failed, but it tastes amazing. It yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it didn't look like the video, you know. It didn't look like that. <laughs> but the really flavor, bomb. bro, it's all about the flavor. <laughs> Don't judge it until you try it. Yeah, she's like watches all the shows, like nailed it, uh, chopped, like all, all those cooking and baking shows. She's I like, get, I get lost in the uh, the videos on Facebook or Instagram of just cooking recipes oh and they're God. like twenty five seconds, and I'm just like. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, damn, I just went through a whole hour. What did I do with <laughs> myself? And then I'm like, damn, now I'm hungry, but I never go actually yeah. try to do it. Yeah. Exactly. No, yeah. Um, so, another hobby, traveling yeah, for sure. Like we, we, love, we love Where have you guys gone? Uh, so far, we've we've been to Cabo nice. with, together. Nice, nice, uh, nice. Cabo. Uh, we traveled to Italy. We went to oh, dope. Florence, Venice, and Rome. Uh, we went to Houston. Houston. We went to... Hey, shout out Houston. I got family over there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's really dope. I yeah. Uh, where else have we gone? I feel like we've done a lot of mini road trips. Mini places, road trips, yeah. yeah. Go to Arizona a lot. I have family in Arizona. Yeah. So okay, We, cool, we cool. love just taking road trips and just getting deep and talking to each yeah. other. If so. it's an hour away, it's a road trip. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, let's just take a road trip. I just want to have a good conversation. <laughs> yeah. But our main goal, like, we don't have a lot of time freedom right now, but... When we have that time freedom, we definitely want to utilize it to just travel like yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Like we really want to go everywhere and just like ex- experience different cultures you and did, different spots. I haven't stuff. had the opportunity to actually go out and travel as much as I want to. Um, and next year, I'm going to make uh, you know it a priority. And actually, mm-hmm. we were just talking about it. We went to Panda the other day, and uh, it that, was a, that was a road trip right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, mini road that, trip. that's my road trip. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I got a uh, my uh, my fortune cookie said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And I believe in those, right, bro? Like, <laughs> where's it at? Look at this, right here, bro. I keep them too. I keep them too. Look at this. This one said, "Assert your, assert yourself. Your ideas are worthwhile." I'm like, got them there too. you I go. Got them too. Look at that. I keep them. Do you really? Yeah, they're my phone. Dude, uh, when they, hey, when they hit and like, you're actually like, oh shit, like this is speaking check to me. Out this one. It's wait, when did you go to Panda? Uh, <laughs> nah, babe, that's from last year. Uh, it says there are dreamers and then there are achievers. The difference between the two is action. Oh, okay. now I'm a big firm believer in that. Like you know, you this world has so many ideas. Like we don't need anymore. Like the, the ideas are everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like people just need to really just take yeah, action. Put in the work. Go out and do it. You know, like don't be scared of people. What people are gonna say. Don't be scared of the people that are like saying no. Don't do it. You'll never freaking succeed. So just go mm-hmm. fucking do it. Yeah. Stay consistent. And whoever's rocking with you is gonna be with you. Exactly. Whoever isn't good you're trimming the fat yeah, yeah. uh so where, where did you get like all this mindset from like how did, uh, how did you get developed like this? so uh all right so i was working at denny's for about three years right and uh this was 
post after my dad passed away and my friend Christian passed away, right? Mm -hmm. And when I went through that, like, I, I, I didn't right away get my shit together. Like, I kind of, in a way, like, I didn't mourn at that moment. But my way of, like, you know, like, grieving and, like, you know, getting that out was through going out, partying, you know, mm -hmm. excessively mm -hmm. drinking, you yeah. know, like, doing stuff that I shouldn't be doing, you know. And it, and it just got to the point where you repeatedly kept doing and doing and doing doing that. That it's, like, you get to, like, okay, 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 like, yo, like, all right, we got we to gotta switch it up, yeah. you know. And at that moment, I started feeling, like, you know, like, all right, I want to get the hell out of Denny's. I don't want to be here, you know. Like, mm -hmm. I... I, I this isn't for me this isn't my last stop you know like yeah. and i was a manager you know at the time uh i was the youngest kid there like you know i was like what like 20 years old and you know, having to like boss around like 40 50 year olds like it, it was horrible like it's not like it's cool as it sounds like yeah. yeah the pay was great i was making good money for like the age that i was but it wasn't giving me that fulfillment you yeah. know and then my sister's friend uh you know one day he came up to me uh i was at a karinas and uh haha <laughs> uh i was at karinas yeah i know i love that place uh, i was at karinas and he comes and sits next to me he's like yo hey you're you're alexa's little brother right and i'm like uh yeah it's uh, me he's like oh cool bro yeah i remember we played soccer this one time you know chopped it up a little bit da -da -da. he's like hey so uh He's like, uh, do you like making money? I was like, yeah, who doesn't? You know? <laughs> He's like, hey, well, give me a little time. You know, I'm working on something. You know, you, you might be, you know, interested in. So just, you know, what's your number? We exchange information. That happened. Time passed, about like a year and a half. Hits me up. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Like, remember we talked back then? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. What's going on, bro? He's like, hey, so I'm doing you know door knocking for selling security systems he's like you know are, are you down to come you know check me out see if it's something that you even like or want to do and i'm like yeah fuck it like you know let's let's see what it's all about you know mm -hmm. i'm anything that's better than denny's i'm down if i can go do it <laughs> and uh so we went and did that i shadowed him all he did was knock doors literally knock doors like he was out in the field knocking yeah. doors over like 100 doors mm -hmm. a day like just knocking 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 trying to sell you a security system which is like i think just a peace of mind, I guess. Like, you know, besides the fact that it costs, like, ridiculous amounts of money. Yeah. Um, so I said, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. I quit Denny's. I left. Uh, you know, we started with the company. Um, you know, uh, he was very big on mindset. So he started just feeding me a whole bunch of different oh, thoughts. Like, he kind of opened up the door for me. He's like, hey, read this. Hey, look at that. Hey, take this. Hey, watch this. And I'm like, oh, shoot. Like, I was never aware aware of that you know so then i started reading and the book that changed my mindset was how to win friends and influence people mm. you know yeah, or i read yeah, that book like three times it was like my bible um and just little by little like i started like you know i want to say i went on a spiritual awakening because i just from one day to another i was like i don't want to be that person anymore i want to be this person you know yeah. and i started striving to be the person that i wanted to be in my head and little by little like you know i was making progress you know like i started a lot with meditation and then just basically like i dissected myself took myself away from all my friends like you know just spend time like literally with myself rebooted my brain rewired it and was just like okay i i'm i'm ready to go do this now yeah. then i had a i had a goal like this like probably three years ago now and uh, i journal a lot i'm a i'm an avid journalist Ooh, like i journal every day like it's like no and if or buts like i've been doing it for like shit since like i was a kid and i didn't notice that until like i'm like oh shit i've been doing this for a while <laughs> oh, shit. um but yeah it just like it, it opened up my mind and i was just like all right, I don't want to be that person. I told my friends, hey, this is what I want to do. This is my goal. And at that moment, I wanted to do a social experiment, which was going to be talk to different people and like go uh, talk to them, see what their story is. And I'm like, oh, shit, I guess we're doing this now. Like, <laughs> you know, but it was funny because at that moment, I didn't know I wanted to start a podcast. I didn't know that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I called it a social experiment. And I just wanted to talk to different people, get their points of view and stuff yeah. like that. I didn't even know there was podcasts, you know. Um, and then just little by little i stayed consistent stay consistent stay consistent and i just i didn't want to fall back to the person that i was because there was always moments in my life where i did where i would go full force cold quick cold turkey everything you know like done but then there was always a fallback you know so then this time was just like i am not doing that so i literally like had a intervention for myself and i went to my friends and told them what <laughs> i wanted to do and just little by little, just staying consistent and staying just on it was really what got me to be here. And then just realizing what I was able to do with, like, the impact that I wanted to create yeah. in people, you know, what I was trying to do and how I went through shit. And, like, I'm like, yo, if I could switch this around and I could do this, like, yo, what's stopping anybody from doing it? Because I feel like I was the biggest tonto, you know? So, <laughs> so it's like, you know, like, that's where I get it. And basically what energy is, is energy from within, which is basically yeah. everything that I went through, all the shit I ate, all my losses, all my lessons, both them all together and was like okay i'm gonna own up to this and i'm gonna go out there and fucking do whatever the fuck yeah. i want and i just like started creating a strong mindset and now i'm like nothing phases me like i'm like i'm in control so it's like 
That's, that's cool. Because awesome. <laughs> yeah. there's not a lot of people like that. No, know? there isn't. And then the crazy that thing is that, like, when you try to go and talk to people, like, if they're not on the same wavelength as you or, like, same thought patterns, yeah. they're going to go and think, like, yeah. oh, this motherfucker thinks he's better than me. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, this motherfucker's trying to tell me what to do. So that ass, and I, I went through that. You know, I went through that, like, I got to tell everybody, I got to tell everybody, I got to tell everybody. <laughs> but then I realized that, like, not everybody likes getting told what to do. And mm-hmm. everybody takes things differently. Mm-hmm. So I learned, um, you know, by getting chewed out a few times, like, Brian, fuck off. Like, you know, that you got to be. Be very careful how you go about you know sharing your message with people and how yeah. you connect with people on that aspect because they might just say fuck you yeah <laughs> yeah i feel like once you get exposed like you're up here like you can't you can't you can never go back down like your mindset yeah. like you you no you always get like what, <laughs> surprise. once you once you get like exposed like to something like you can never like really drop down into like anybody else's level like it's no, really hard no, like no, no. you 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 can't like it's it's, it's crazy too because um once you like you've developed the mindset and like like manny said like you're yeah. exposed to so much sometimes when i have a conversation with someone and they're a little negative and you know or whatever i'm just like man like they just haven't been exposed like, yeah, they don't know yeah, yeah. Yet. Like, you gotta open ha- up your eyes you know, yeah. yeah i'm like you need personal development read this book <laughs> do this no yeah that's very true but everybody i feel like on their own time, you yeah, know, but like uh-huh. you got to in a way, like for me, I've realized that I can't go full fledged and tell someone, yo, you need to stop doing that. You need to quit doing yeah. that. You need to quit doing that because this, this and that is what you need to be doing. Yeah. Motherfucker, who are you to tell me? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so in a way, like you got to motivate them and inspire them mm-hmm. to take it as a thought for themselves to that let them think like, yo, OK, yeah, you're right. I need to do this. You know, like I'm not doing it for him. I'm doing it. You know, he's kind of right. Like I should, you know, like open up my mind. I should, you know, really dig deep inside and, you know, figure out who I am, what I am and how I am. Because yeah. once you know who you are and you're self-aware, like, you know, now you're in control. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people aren't in control because they're so blinded by everything going on. Oh, yeah. The media, your parents, your peers, you know, outside influences that you're getting dragged in all these different directions mm-hmm. that you don't know exactly what your mindset is or what your vision is because you're you know basically fogged up from all these people's like information that you know could be right could be wrong but it's not really your 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 intake that's why we love um social media Mm because instead of like we know some people need certain things like some person's development some positivity so like you said instead of telling them like what to do like yeah just show what we do and some people get curious show don't tell what is that yeah yeah like podcast what's a podcast to start listening Mm -hmm. and like we'll put like what books we're reading and then people will ask us about them so that's like our thing like we slowly like show people yes, through our social yes. media through our message instead of like being on them but that way they're like oh okay like what is this and that's something that like when i first got off the bat like i was just telling 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 like you gotta do this you gotta mm-hmm. do that and then you come to think like well, maybe i should just show them you lead by that. example you know mm-hmm. even with the 33 days of pain dues like you know like i started that just because i wanted it to motivate myself you know mm-hmm. hold myself accountable and you know it, it's beautiful and it's overwhelming how many people jumped on it and are actually doing it because i'm like it's not so much a physical challenge as much as it is a mental challenge mm-hmm. because like now you're committing to something for you know 33 days or whatever time period it might be but you're getting your mindset accustomed to committing yeah. you know and then my goal is to like okay now that we got these 33 days in let's take this momentum let's take this you know like commitment let's put it to something else you know now you got the momentum yeah. now you could get going you know yeah. and that's literally what i aspire to do just help people get going you know just let them find their own paths but first you gotta like literally ground yourself commit yourself yeah. and know what it is to actually put in the work mm-hmm. and after like 21 days it becomes a lifestyle so, so hey started, started <laughs> without even knowing yeah you know so that that's exactly what I, I i shoot for bro that like you're gonna be in this like you know momentum you're gonna be in this groove that it's gonna be so hard for you to try to like mm-hmm. go back to what you're doing you know so it's like i hope that's like that jump start that people get so that they're able to go out and do whatever they want Mm -hmm. because i feel like sometimes people hide behind their fears and they don't get to experience life the way that they should um because they hold themselves back Mm -hmm. you know sometimes we're our biggest critics and it's it's true Mm -hmm. oh yeah that's exactly what we do we do 30-day challenges as well yeah Uh, we're doing one with our clients right now it's called the cuts and curves challenge Mm -hmm. um but yeah it's really dope because we're trying to create that lifestyle for them like just go 30 days of just being consistent and see what you can do in those 30 days and like the ones who actually stick to it like it just changes something in them and they keep go on for another 30 days yeah no definitely and the ones who didn't like stick to it they still like got exposed for like those those few few days and they're they start to like little by little though and the crazy thing is that like okay once you get exposed to it like you got two options you get with it 
or you go back, but then in the back of your head, you're always, always like, oh, shoot, uh, I, mean, I could have done and that, you, you know? Back. And then you do, because, like, you, we, eat your, we eat ourselves alive, you know? Like, yeah. you, that doubt, that, like, thought in the back of your head saying, like, oh, you're a bitch. <laughs> or, like, oh, you should have done it. Or, like, yeah. yo, why did you do that? What if? What if? What if? Mm-hmm. I never wanted to be a what if. I wanted to have been like, oh, well, it worked out. Oh, it didn't work out. At least I tried. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all it is, just taking that, uh, you know, that that chance within yourself, you know, the biggest thing you got to do is just, you know, better yourself because what, what, what else are we doing here? You know, like just to better yourself, get the people around you to get better. And at the end of the day, if you're collectively all doing it, like, bro, everybody's winning all yeah. around, you know? So it's just crazy how like life will just pull you in different directions. But if you're able to ground yourself and I always bring it back to the team, you know, if you're able to ground yourself with the people that are really motivating you, giving you that inspiration and that love and that energy, mm-hmm. you know, then full fledged, go do whatever the fuck you want. Because, you know, you got that backup, you know, right behind you telling you like you could do it, you could do it. Or, you know what, like, hey, buddy, you got to change shit up. Yeah. But you always got to be open to how to say that like, criticism, you know, mm-hmm. like I, one of the big things that me and Marco have is like I always tell him a whole bunch of stuff and he's very honest with me. You know, it's like, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Uh, Brian, like I got the poquito, eh? yeah. <laughs> but I I need that because I'm the type of person that's just go 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 yeah. go go. Like we'll figure it out later. Shoot and then aim, you know. Like yeah, it's kind of our team right here, you know. Yeah. And then he kind of more like, okay, okay, Brian, Brian, yes, but let's aim a little better, bro. Before you shoot, let's just you know, get this down because she's the Brian, I'm the Marco. Yeah, yeah. you know, like no, but you need that. Like I have realized, and that's why, like I love having him, my cousin, you know, the other Marco, and as part of my team because they're the ones that kind of like, yo, Brian. <laughs> you know like let's figure it out and it's funny because he was saying the other day it's almost like i have to run my stuff through him so that it's like okay yeah you could do that <laughs> and i'm like fuck i can never do anything <laughs> well, it took us like, over a month just to get this started right? yeah like and it was funny like we always tell the story that like when we when when we met <laughs> uh i was at a uh, uh no actually i've known him since high school i'd like take that back um <laughs> Uh, we went, I was at a Starbucks and then he's like, oh, okay, like, you know, like we met, he's like, all right, I thought you're going to like do some mortgage shit. And he's like, uh, oh, I don't know. And then I told him what I wanted to do. He's like, oh shit. And it was going to go under a different name originally, but then, you know, we started planning things out. And then one day I texted him I was like, bro, energy. He's how, like, how that's you it. you up with that one? Uh, bro, honestly, like just. I was always like, all right, Brian, what are you? What's one word that describes you? I'm like, energy. fucking energy, bro. <laughs> energy. Yeah. And then you I wake t- me up. Yeah. <laughs> and then he'd send me the text message one, Brian, shut up. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> and then my other buddy like literally told me, he's like, Brian, you realize that you wake up and you yell at your phone? <laughs> and I'm like, ah, shit, I do. <laughs> but not... Um, it was just kind of like it kind of all made sense at the moment that it kind of sparked in my head it was like energy energy from within i'm like huh, I want the energy i was like oh fuck i was like marco i think we got it <laughs> and um and it just kind of like it just it just it just stuck you know it was just perfect and uh now shit, we're here you know just trying to make it the best podcast in the world which it already is you know it's scientifically proven you know like why would Google a lot it. of people dude like for reals huh you know they it's all over the world <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, and then I strive to let people know that like everybody has that in them, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. everybody has that energy, everybody, everybody, you just got to unlock it and tap into it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's like, we all have it and it's just like, how are we going to open it up? You know, it's like, how are you going to expand your mind? How are you going to tap into that energy? That's going to let you do whatever you want, which is the mindset that, you know, you can achieve anything you want. Yeah. And that's how that came. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a dope name. I love it. Yeah. So now we're just, you know, trying to like grow it. Uh, you know, I'm looking to brand it and uh, people are going to make a, we're going to make it. Like, brand it. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean, bro? Like I can never do anything. <laughs> Nah, but uh, but yeah, we'll see where it goes, and then people that complete the challenge are gonna get some cool shirts with like their name on it, like official. Right, like, I'm, I'm completing. I'm back at day one. I didn't know the rules. What Shit, now you know. It's all good. It's just thirty three days. <laughs> three three days. It. You know that's what I mean. The cool thing is that like, okay, you fail, go back to day one. You're yeah, only benefiting I, yourself. Yeah, <laughs> like at the end yeah, of the day, yeah. like I, yeah. like you know, I might just on the thirty second day be like, oops, I missed. Let me start again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, anything else you guys want to you know talk about right now? Like say before we get into what I like to call the lightning Ooh, round. Yeah. No, but I, with our cuts and curves challenge, I am gonna suggest that all of our clients do the thirty 
Yes, we're going to put all of them on it because it is a 30-day challenge. Yeah, it's it's a 30-day challenge. And so the 33 days, how it came about was that uh, my angel numbers are 333, right? And Mm -hmm. that's the numbers that I always see a lot, you know? And then eventually, once you get into the numerology and that whole (laughs) thing, like it's another conversation we could have because I could talk about that all day. But those are the numbers that I was seeing frequently a lot. And I started researching, researching, researching. And then like I found out those were my angel numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So obviously, I can't do 333 days of paying dues because that's pretty ridiculous. (laughs) A whole year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. So I had to cut it down. I'm like, all right, we'll do 33. And that's, you know, how that came about. And, uh, dude, the momentum that it's picking up, I honestly wish and I hope that it keeps growing and I know that it will. Yeah, will. Um, so it's just like, you know, like I just, I got to stay consistent on it because if I stop, then I'm a bitch. <laughs> mom didn't raise a bitch. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anybody that you guys want to call out to start the challenge, we'll yeah. make sure we shout them out. Oh man, I wish, I wish we could name all our clients right now. Shit, all their clients, you're being yes. called out. All all 33 them. days of pain dues. <laughs> you guys know what it is. They'll give you the freaking rules and just commit because it's going to be the best experience of your life. Make a little snippet, post it on Instagram, and yeah, then we'll tag yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. put the rules. Yeah, no, I'll make sure I put the rules. And I'll say the rules real quick just for everybody. So it's 33 days of staying active, being fit, and, you know, just working up a sweat. You know, whatever mm-hmm. way you get that sweat and that working just do it you miss a day go back to day one you know for accountability you have to tag either my page or you know my energy page just because it's like it's not for me it's because it's holding you accountable once you put it out there like that like you're like oh crap like you know that social pressure starts coming in and that's what it's all about right now right Mm -hmm. so nobody wants to be a bitch (laughs) i call it quitter (laughs) um but yeah and if you you know you mess up then you know it's cool go Go back back. to day one but uh at the end of the uh, at the end of the contest the people that do win and the first two people are gonna get a special prize special than the the shirts you know everyone's gonna get a shirt once they complete it but i really want to do something that you know it's really gonna give people that like incentive to really like okay if this is what it works and this is how it's gonna happen then let's i'm all for it you know and um, on your rest days Active rest days, right? Active yeah. rest yeah. days where it means go on a light jog, you know, do, do something, do something wow. you know, like, Swim. I mean, yeah, bro, anything, and that's what people like, oh, well, well, I need a rest day, no, 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 <laughs> sauna, yeah, you know, like, you, you just gotta, like, you know, do something that's gonna work up your sweat and just pay the dues, because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like, you pay the dues and I guarantee you they're gonna pay you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah do. All right, well, it's time for the lightning round, let's get into it, oh. what it is, it's just, is you know, this? <laughs> nah, so they're just some questions. Obviously, I haven't, I, I don't know what the questions are. They always change. It could be something crazy. It could be something cool. It could be something, I don't know. Marcos <laughs> takes care of that. So that being said, let's jump into it. And okay. I'll go you and then you go, you okay, could answer. Cool. Or they, did you make them together? Uh, some of them are together. Some of them are just for one person. Some of them We'll are, figure it out. Yo, okay. It says right there. Oh, you, Okay. But yeah, maybe I should have read it, huh? <laughs> but yeah, like, let her go first. And then okay. Uh, if you had the opportunity to search lives with someone for a day, who would it be? Manny. Sometimes I just want to know what he's thinking. Dude, right <laughs> off the... Dude, she's been premeditating on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Manny. <laughs> It's kind of creepy. Cause, though, like, no, like, because we're so different. And yeah. like you said, like, you're so like, this is not, yeah, yeah. Manny's more like, okay, this, like, you know. He yes, me, like, yes, 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 yes. You know, direction. So I'm like, I need a little bit of that. So I want to see through that. How do you have that? That's funny. <laughs> me? Uh, oh. I want to be her. <laughs> Will Smith. There could be so much. I need, like, for me, I'm already thinking, like, 17 of them. I know, me too. Well, I would say yeah. in the past, like, a few years ago, Conor McGregor, Ooh. just because I loved his mindset. But yeah, mo- yeah, yeah. more recently, I wouldn't want to say that. But because he's been... You arrogant bastard. Who the <laughs> fuck is this guy? Huh? <laughs> he's been getting into some trouble, so I'm not going to say, like, him Yo, now. Hey, cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> but in the past, like, I loved when he first... I'm a huge UFC fan, so okay. I love when he first came in, and he just, like, took over, and, like, his mindset yes. was so strong. Like, he knew he could be yes. every single person, and he spoke it into existence that he was going to be a two-time champ, and that he was going to take over the UFC, and, like, all that good stuff. And, like, his mindset is just so crazy in the past. It was just really cool, um, and he was my biggest inspiration with confidence. That's right. how I learned to, like, give my confidence. Like, I was like, damn, like, I want to be like him. Like, mm-hmm. his confidence is dope. Like, I love it. So that was my huge, big inspiration. Um, more recently, I wouldn't say him. I would say more, um, I don't know. That's a hard one. Who would you say for me? Will Smith? Yeah. We'll go with, yeah, I we'll, love Will Smith. We'll go with Will Smith. We'll, we'll Cut off all the things. <laughs> <Yeah. Conor McGregor. laughs> <laughs> all right, second question. Would you rather stop using the internet or stop using deodorant? Deodorant. 
Yeah, I need my business to flourish. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, I could be stinky. Yeah. I was gonna laugh at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Next question. <laughs> All right, out of, the, out of the both of you, who has a weak spot for fast food? Oh, yes, hey, hence Panda. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's in and out. He's, hey. Uh, yeah, we, we believe in a balanced diet, so yeah. we, definitely. we definitely get to cheat a few a few times a week, mm. um, probably like once a week. Yeah. But um, if you're just too strict on a diet, you're, it's never going to stick around. Like you're just going to be so strict, and then you're going to gain yeah. all the weight back or whatever your yeah. goal is. So, like it's not going to happen. Like you got to balance out that lifestyle. I actually need to talk to you guys about like getting into a little meal plan because like I feel like that's I just eat like crap because <laughs> I feel like hey, I'm skinny and I'm like come out pasar, you know. But like I just don't like like today the pot pie. Uh, chicken pot pie uh, bro that shit like I, I took a nap in my car because i was just like <laughs> it was like i'm never having one of those again like it's just not gonna happen some food actually makes me feel like shit and like mm-hmm. you kind of yeah. know this right off the bat so definitely we'll link up on that all right uh what are you scared of failing mm. Mm. Yeah, i guess yeah, i'm scared failing. of shit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fearless <laughs> I guess failing, but I just know we're not gonna fail, so that's not even like in there. Also heights. Are you scared of heights? Oh, right? he's. You wanna yeah. get heights? Yeah, that's what I was. I was telling myself too. Like, what am I scared of? Me? Oh, that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right, spell. I can't even pronounce. Wait, that. Are we, what question? Are you Wait, are we spelling stuff out? Five. I'm the worst oh, speller. okay, 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 okay. Marcos, you wanna pr- you wanna pronounce this one? No, nah, you can go. <laughs> you make you gonna make me yeah, fuck up. Exactly. All right, right. Spell cacaro hyphophobia. Don't ask me. I'm the worst speller ever. Right. What the fuck is this? Can't use it in a sentence. Might get it. <laughs> it says the definition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I cacarophobia. <laughs> Whenever I do something that I want to accomplish. <laughs> well, motherfucker, I don't know how to pronounce that shit. Wait, K- pronounce it. Pronounce K- it a little K- bit better. Okay. C A C. You know, I struggled reading when I was younger, right? And you knew this. <laughs> English is her se- second language. Kakaro happy ha phobia. Okay, so I got phobia down. So it's it's a phobia to something, bro. Yeah. But <laughs> what it really means is to mean it means the fear of failure. Mm. I didn't know that. Yeah. CAC. I fail at that shit, dude. Fuck. <laughs> I got a full hobby. Yeah. How, okay, how do you really pronounce it? Nah, nah, you made that shit up, huh? Nice question. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> All right, from a scale from 1 to 10, how hot do you like your shower water? Nine. Mm. 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 Like it's burning like- my body. I come out red. <laughs> Fucking mm. skeleton face. <laughs> I would say a six. Okay. Nice. nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, who snores louder? <laughs> she looked yeah. over and like, babe, don't say shit. Well, I'm asleep. I don't know. Really? She, she does this weird thing. Like, oh, yeah, I do. Uh, we're watching okay, try, a movie. Try, try, try to uh, <laughs> interpret. Do, 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 do. Okay. Like, well, okay. We'll be watching a movie and like, I'll be like, is she out yet? So I could change it. Like, I don't want to watch this movie. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just wait for her to like knock out. She'll be like on my arm or something. And I'll just like, she does this thing with her mouth. She's like. <laughs> I do. And like I'm like, okay, she's asleep. I can yeah. take it out. <laughs> oh man, uh, are dogs people? Yes. Yeah. I love dogs. Yeah. That's my weakness right there. Dogs. Uh, yeah, he uh, doesn't cry for anything, but if there's a dog involved, <laughs> yeah. almost cried at Marley and me. Ah, uh, dude, I, I cry. I cry. I cry. A random, random movie, but like I was a kid and I cl- I cried when I watched the movie Click. Oh, I almost cried too. I cried like a little that, that one was sad. <laughs> when he walks out, you know, he falls in the street when it's raining, and I'm like, no. <laughs> I watched that one and Marley and me on an airplane one time. Oh, I left the plane with my eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> the flight time's like, allergies? I was like, yeah. <laughs> this AC. All right. <laughs> Manny, this one's for you, bro. All right. Uh, spell you slavey backwards in five seconds. Go. I Y V E L. S U Y. I think you missed a V. No, you, you said I Y. I can't even spell anyone. Anyways, we're running back and we'll see who, who's yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, question for you, you slavey. Yeah. Spell Manny backwards. Normal. Y M N A M. Oh, there you go. Ooh, manual. Uh-huh, 
Manuel. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's the better dancer? Ooh, Ooh I don't know. We, we love, love dancing. Shit. That's her. Dance off. Nah, Go. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> no, we, you did, did you see her dab? She dab. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love dancing. Yeah. That's something that. What oh, type? Like, uh, like salsa, e- cumbia. Everything. Oh, we just make up moves all the time. Uh-huh. Dude, I, I dance. G- yeah, when I'm alone, I make up dance moves. And I'm like, <laughs> wow, I would never show anybody this. <laughs> and then I get a little drunk. <laughs> oh man, when I'm drunk, I can't that, stop. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't stop. Dude, there's been points where we go out and literally all our friends take over the dance floor, and then you see Brian in the middle just fucking breaking it down. And then people are like the next day, yo, Brian, did, do you remember dancing? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'll see like videos the next day, and I don't remember. I'm like, damn, I was doing that. Yeah, when we go out, I'm like, hey, go get Manny Shaw, go get Manny Shaw. <laughs> and Manny's like, Tisha. He comes out, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a really good dancer, though. Nice, nice. Mm-hmm. All right, so this one's uh, you know, finish the name. I mean, finish the sentence, and w- I'll go with you first, and then I'll go to you. All right. My name is Blink, and I get my energy from. Wait, like where I get my energy from? Like energy, energy, or life? Your energy. Life. Life. There I it do. is. I really do. Nice, Manny. My name is, and I get my energy from. Do I have to say my name is Manny? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Manny, and I get my energy from people. Woo! Oh, you guys heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. You Slavy and Manny from Herbalife Fitness Coach. Definitely check them out. We'll have all the notes in the uh, in the section for where we put all the descriptions. But other than that, make sure you guys subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell your friend. Tell your tia. Tell your cousin. Tell your ex girlfriend, ex boyfriend. Yo, this is the best podcast in the world. Okay. Scientifically proven. Why the fuck would I lie to you? <laughs> uh, but other than that, thank you guys for coming by. Follow us on Instagram. Thirty three yeah. days of paying dues. Don't shy away from it. Woo. Join right now. Change your life. Energize your life, baby. We out. Yeah. This was so cool. Yeah, that's that was it, fun. That was yeah, fun. Welcome. I was pretty nervous about it before, but it was, it was fun. Nah, all right. So the thing is that every time when we start off, like that's that's the mood. People are like, ah. Oh.